Here's our second example for naming molecular compounds using Greek prefixes. Remember our Greek prefixes, and here they are. So these are the prefixes that correspond with these numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So here are our binary molecular compounds. They give us the name and ask us to derive the chemical formula. So for sulfur dioxide, we want to derive the chemical formula. Then we need to think about our guidelines for molecular compounds. For the first nonmetal, if it is only one atom present, then we don't use the prefix mono. So we just have S for sulfur. Di indicates that we have two, uh, and it says sulfur diiodide. Excuse me, I said dioxide first, diiodide. So iodide uh, is derived from iodine. So di would suggest that we have two iodine atoms. So our molecular formula would be Si2. Now remember that these are atoms and not ions. So for every single molecule of sulfur diiodide, I have one sulfur atom and two iodine atoms. For sulfur monochloride, again, we have one sulfur atom, so we do not use the prefix mono. When the first nonmetal has one atom, there's an exception where you do not use the prefix if it is mono. So this would just be S. Monochloride indicate one chlorine atom. Sulfur tetrachloride and pentasulfur. In this case, the prefix is not mono, so we do use it. Dinitride. 